Marty, thank you. I've got the three things to know about COVID-19 in Colorado. First, Colorado lawmakers won't be back to work until after Memorial Day. The General Assembly extended its suspension until May 26th. Democrats say they face a $3 billion budget shortfall when they return because of the pandemic. Second, the state is nearing 20,000 confirmed cases. So far, more than 100,000 people have been tested. Third, health officials plan to address the CNC Cafe in Castle Rock after the restaurant broke state restrictions. They ignored it, reopened to large crowds on Sunday. The Tri-County Health Department plans to follow up with the owner to make sure they limit service to curbside and takeout. Vice President Mike Pence is going to have a quieter few days ahead. One of his staff tested positive for the virus. John Glasgow is working from home today, and John Pence is one of a few on the coronavirus task force taking a break. That's right. Vice President Mike Pence is getting tested daily, and so far those results have come back negative. A spokesperson for him says that he has no plans to quarantine, and he plans to be at the White House today. A senior administration official says Vice President Mike Pence scaled back his schedule this weekend by skipping a national security meeting. This comes after his press secretary, Katie Miller, tested positive. So did a military valet who serves the president. President Trump also tested negative. Prominent White House staffers are now required to wear masks. Three members of the coronavirus task force who had more direct exposure to COVID-19 are self-isolating, including CDC Director Dr. Robert Redfield, as well as FDA Commissioner Dr. Stephen Hahn and Infectious Disease Director Dr. Anthony Fauci. Some White House aides say that they are concerned to go to work. It's scary to go to work. I think that I'd be a lot safer if I was sitting at home than I would be going to the West Wing. But, you know, it's a time when people have to step up and serve their country. Mike Pence says that he does plan to follow the advice of the White House medical team. Uh, Corey, this does come as the president is encouraging many governors to reopen their states as this coronavirus inches closer to the West Wing. Hmm. All right, John, thank you for the update. Appreciate it. Time now for more of the COVID-19 headlines. Some churches in Colorado opened for worship over the weekend. In-person service resumed with a lot of different restrictions, including no more than 10 people inside and everyone wearing a mask. Douglas County leaders are asking the governor to allow Park Meadows Mall to reopen. The variants uh, filed on Friday detailed the safety measures that the mall would follow. They're pretty extensive, including requiring masks for shoppers. They've also removed all of the sitting areas from the food courts and from the hallways. And you will no longer be able to park at DIA shuttle lots starting today. The Pikes Peak and Mount Elbert lots are going to be closed. They just don't need them anyway. There's not that many people out there. Shuttles will only run from the terminal to those lots for returning passengers. 17 inmates have tested positive at the Jefferson County Detention Center. The Sheriff's Office says each of them now in an isolation unit. Deputy who worked at the jail did test positive in early April too. That deputy is now isolated at home. The IRS says Wednesday is the last day you can enter your banking information to get your stimulus check positive directly to your account. You can do that on the IRS website. After Wednesday, the IRS will begin preparing and sending out millions of paper checks.